Hello, this is Seth Lewis from Lantern Home Inspections here to perform a sewer line camera inspection on property 3978 Southeast Lake Road, Milwaukee, Oregon 97222. The current time is 2.11 p.m. on December 28, 2017. The house is facing the northwest. I'm here on the southeast side of the house, um, actually the uh, east corner of the house back uh, where I've located a 3-inch ABS clean out here. So there's your backyard there with your deck. Here's uh, the corner of your house here, and here's where I've located the clean-out. I have water running from the kitchen sink. The water is running downstream towards the southeast. I'm hoping it makes a turn, or a couple of turns. Um, there's houses on every side. Uh, there's a church parking lot to the uh, southwest area. So I'm going to go ahead and scope the line from here. The purpose of this inspection is to determine the overall... Uh, condition and serviceability of the sewer lateral for this property to the city main, wherever that runs to. So I'm going to get the uh, position here downstream. So that's downstream there. I'm going to go ahead and zero out my foot counter here and begin the scope. Let's see if I can zero that out again. There we go. So it looks like we're still in 3 inch ABS. So there's a turn here turning to the southwest it looks like should be making another turn a little bit of standing water here and another slight turn As you can see there's still a little bit of standing water well So at 30 feet, my camera head is beginning to go underwater significantly here. It then re-emerges, so from about 30 feet to 34 feet, it looks like there's a small belly in the line. Still some water being retained, and there's another turn directing kind of towards the uh, church area. You can see there, there's some retained water there as well. So there's some standing water issues, it seems to me. Um, it doesn't look like the, the line is... There's no blockage in the line. These are what you call bellies, and they retain water that way. So... More... That actually can stop water up as well, having debris in the tank, and so my camera's moving that out. We'll see if the water is receded anymore. You see that considerable sludge build up there at 120 feet. We now transition from ABS to 3034 and at 123 feet we now hit a city main. I'm not sure if this is on that church property or not. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video to try to locate this area if I can. Okay I'm back. I did locate the head of my camera at this location. It's about 10 feet away from a uh, city main or a main uh, sewer manhole. Whether that is a city main, I do not know. I, it's on property of a, a church on the southwest side of the, the house. It is beyond, beyond the property, so it goes off property onto 
of the church property but that could be an easement uh, on that church par parking lot there that the city owns but that would have to be further investigated um, by contacting the city and seeing if that is an easement or if it is a, a non-conforming line to that church property or maybe even a shared party line which I'm assuming other Now we'll see if the water receded any. So you remember at the beginning of the uh, video, you noticed that there was standing water in some places, but there were also toilet paper and debris that I was pushing out with my camera. Notice how the So there's some sludge buildup in the line. So it looks like to me that the water did recede a little bit so that my camera head is not being completely submerged in the water. Which means that would be something to just monitor over time. As you notice, there's some sludge buildup developing in some places. Those things can be hydrojetted out and cleaned. So at the bottom surface there, you see that there's some sludge buildup developing. So it was pretty much of the uh, the debris in the line that my camera pushed out that was stopping the water so badly to make those little tiny uh, areas of standing water. So now that those were pushed out, it did recede. There's still s some small bellies in there, but not enough to fail the line. Uh, overall, the line has passed inspection. There were no signs of any cracks, holes, root intrusions, no offset joints, just those two small bellies in the line retaining water, but there was no obstruction in them. So what I will be doing is recommending that you contact the city to determine the responsibility of the line that goes across the property and into the church property uh, just because it runs on their asphalt uh, parking lot. But overall, I am going to pass this sewer line inspection for this property. I will have a written report in this video upload for you and your realtor to view. Thank you for choosing Lantern Inspections.